Hello, friends. I'm Dr. Jenny Wu, founder of Mind Brain Emotion. And today, I'm going to show you how to use 52 essential coping skills. What is coping? Coping means to deal effectively with the stressors and problems in our lives. So anytime we try to overcome stress, we are coping. The ability to cope effectively is what makes someone resilient despite life's obstacles. And in extreme cases, the ability to cope is what differentiates post-traumatic growth from post-traumatic stress. As we know, it is humanly impossible to avoid all the stress in our life or to shield life's challenges from our loved one's lives. But here's the good news. We can learn and expand our coping skills and strategies to become calmer, stronger, and wiser. 52 Essential Coping Skills provides evidence-based exercises to help you build important coping skills and strategies so that you can better manage your emotions, overcome the stressors in your life, and reduce your level of anxiety and overwhelm. Each card includes actionable exercises that speak to the challenging situations that you're facing and the goals that you may have on how you like to show up as a person. These coping skills and exercises are organized by focus area, which is in the top left-hand corner and labeled by suit characters. A heart stands for self-awareness, a diamond stands for self-management, a spade stands for social awareness, and a club stands for relationship skills. Use the red suits when you are having a hard time letting go of a thought or an emotion. Use the black suits when you are dealing with external problems with other people or wounded confidence. To get the most out of 52 essential coping skills, Take the online coping assessment to get a sense of your current coping style. For example, do you typically vent to others about your problems or do you silently blame yourself for what just happened? Do you respond to an issue by taking action or do you prefer to sit back and give it some time? Are you responding to your stress in unhealthy ways? The coping assessment will take about 10 minutes. Once you're done, you'll see suggestions on how you can personalize 52 essential coping skills with the cards that most meet your needs. I encourage you to go slow and use one to two coping skill cards at a time. Each card is broken into bite-sized prompts because our big emotions and lingering moods need a lot of time to process. With practice, you'll be able to call upon these skills and strategies in demanding situations. Take at least six months to work on the specific cards that are most useful for you. Apply these exercises in different situations that you encounter. Then you can take the coping assessment again to see how you've improved in those areas. For additional resources, you can enroll in my online emotional intelligence course to get an in-depth understanding of how you can harness your emotions wisely to solve problems, achieve your goals, and to thrive in life. In the course, I help you diagnose your coping barriers, and I will walk through specific prompts and exercises in the 52 Essential Coping Skills relationship skills, conversations, and critical thinking skills to help you become emotionally intelligent in life.